talk about the, the design and tuning of the cello and the design of the flower of music. The cello, first I'd like to thank my friend Jen Sisko for letting me borrow this cello to make this video with. So first we have four strings in a cello. We have C, G, D, and A. Now these notes are perfect fits apart. So what a perfect fit is, is a ratio. It's um, a quality and relationship between two notes. The perfect fit sound quality is, can be described as spacey, open, and this is what, this is our perfect fit. So, the ratio is three to two. So that means that every time this note vibrates two times, this note will vibrate three times. Every time this one vibrates twice, this will vibrate three times. And same thing here. Every time this vibrates three times, or rather two times, this will vibrate three times. Now let's see how that fits into the flower of music. So this is how the tuning of the cello fits into the center of the flower of music. We have C, and then a purple pedal up is a perfect fit, which it brings us to G, and then again to D, and then again to A. So our tuning in the cello fits perfectly right into the center. And as you play notes, and, and don't play the open strings, and you work the fingerboard, all these other notes are created, flowering off of the original open strings of the cello. Now that you see that the cello was designed to, with the tuning of perfect fits, and how the flower music was designed with perfect fits, I want to talk a little bit about the math and how that all really works. So this is my drawing of a 3 to 2 ratio. With G being 96 hertz and C being 64 hertz, this, the note G will cycle three times and the note G, uh, C will cycle two times each time uh, before they become in sync with each other. So here are two points where they become sync. So you can see 1, 2, 3 and 1, 2. That's the 3 to 2 ratio and the quality is this is what the quality that we hear as a perfect fifth, that's what the quality looks like as a perfect fifth, our 3 to 2 ratio. This is another way we can look at a 3 to 2 ratio. With G being 96 and C being 64 hertz that is, if you reduce it down, half of that is 48.32, then half of that is 24.16, then half of that is 12.8, and half of that is 6.4, and then of course 3 to 2. 3 to 2 ratio is our perfect fifth. Here I want to quickly show you why I tuned to 432 hertz. When A is 432 hertz, the note C equals 64, not 65.406 with the standard tuning of A equals 440. Now as you find with most notes, they will reduce to a single or an even number without decimal points. And this is true um, for all of them except for A. Of course, a at 440, if you keep on dividing that in half, it's even numbers, but all the other uh, notes doesn't, doesn't work like that. If we look at D, um, with D being um, 432, with A being 432, D equals 144 hertz. When A is 440, it's 146.83. And there's lots of reasons why 432 is a better tuning and why instruments were originally created and designed to be played at 432 but it's way too much to go into right now but hopefully I'll spark your interest into wanting to learn more about the tuning of 432 and how it naturally fits into mother nature so much better than the, the tuning of 440 and the why we changed it to 440 and why it's not 432 anymore um, like I said it's a whole nother story <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I uh, hope that you subscribe and watch uh, future videos all about other instruments and the flower music and how it all fits together. So I hope to see you next time. And, and for now, I'm Tom Casella, and make sure you visit TomFong.com. Take care.